Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark here on Ragnarok. And today, I am for some reason extremely like dark and mysterious, even though it's not dark. It's man, I love the swamp on this map, but it has like some really bad lighting glitches. I don't know why, but for some reason I'm like super dark, but the ground's not dark. Uh, over here is like pretty dark, but it's not that dark. I don't even understand, but for some reason I I'm just like, I look like a silhouette. <laughs> anyway, so what are we doing here today? Well, we have this area and um, we're going to be building ourselves kind of like a dino pen area because we have quite a lot of dinos over in the, um, the kind of workshop spot spot place I don't know what to call it it's like a workshop essentially uh, we have so many creatures over there and I was thinking it would be nice to actually have them all over in one area instead of all over the place over there uh, so what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna actually be building up some walls and using this runes here as like a dino pen so what I've got so far is I've got a bunch of these fence support pieces uh, these are pieces from S plus they're essentially like fence foundations except it means that everything kind of turns out at the same height. So I can place walls there and they're going to be flush. Except it doesn't look like it's flush, but it is flush. Trust me. Um, so yeah, we can just go ahead and like build up here. And everything's just going to turn out at the exact same height. And these pigs are really getting annoying. Where did they even come from? They weren't here a few minutes ago, were they? I don't even know. Let's go ahead and just, just kill them or drag them away or something. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. We're gonna just like build up this area and like maybe we'll try to like build a roof or something I'm not exactly sure if I want one because we've got this kind of like natural bridge here uh, From the back part of the swamp here, and I don't know if I want to fix this or not And I don't know what we're doing with this area over here. It's like there's so many questions that I have because <laughs> this is the Swamp Ruins is like all over the place. It really is. I mean like look at this. There's like there's random pieces just everywhere. <laughs> I don't think you could even make like a proper building out of some of this, but um, we're gonna try I guess. But yeah, we've also got this like nice stairs area up here. Maybe we'll make the center bit for like Spinos and other pieces like that. Uh, Cause like I don't know if anybody else is actually gonna tame like anything. Maybe like a power story. You can put that up here too. Uh, these are not breakable. Or are they? It would be kind of good if they are. Let's see. No, you cannot break those. So yeah, that kind of, I don't know, those would be in the way. Yeah, I don't know, the swamp runes are nice, but like, goddamn, they're just, just so messy. So, so messy. Anyway, and also, they're not flush over there either. Oh, there's just so many issues with it. Anyway, let's get going. So, um, I kind of just want to do like a little bit of a bottom layer of like just stone walls, and then we're going to try and add like a little bit of a design to it. Uh, can I put another one there? I can. Cool. Ugh. Where did that even go? Oh, there it is. Okay, I need to go down there, though. I could probably... Oh, there I... Okay, I could get it. Sweet. Let's go ahead and just grab that. Uh, so, yeah. Stone walls on the very bottom like this. Uh, we'll get those slight gaps after a while. Uh, and then I think I want to put some, like, railings up on top of the stone walls. Like, some uh, wooden railings. And then maybe we'll incorporate some pillars in as well. So let's just see how this looks. So we've got our gate over here. Do I have the actual gateway? I do. Thought it was inside of the chest. Let's go ahead and just put that on auto close. So this will be the only way in into like this dino pen area, and the rest of it will be like snake proof and and whatever else, capro proof and like whatever else is out there, like sarcos and just there's so much bad stuff out there. We want to keep our dinos safe. So I don't want to like put people's stuff in here if it's gonna be like in danger. So it's got to be like extremely safe inside of here. Um, so let's see. Let's go with some wooden railings. How does that look? Why did that go there? Can I get you? Oh, okay. Oh, thanks. Oh, two hits and you break pretty much all my armor. That's fantastic. Get away from me. <laughs> wow, where the hell did you even come from? Okay, he didn't break all of my armor. I thought he broke like four pieces there though. Uh, God damn it. You probably came in over this way. Stupid snake. God, I hate those things. Um, okay. Well, let's just continue with this here. <laughs> let's just, like, figure out the basic design. Because I do want to let some light in. I don't want this place to be, like, kind of, like, closed in, essentially. But I do kind of want to keep, like, the arches a little bit as well at the same time. So, and we're out. We're, we're just passed out cold. That's great. Am I spinning around? Did I spin for a second? <gasps> My character looked like he's moving. Wait. He looks like he's moving. His leg just moved. Look, I'm moving. <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll be back in a minute uh, when we're awake. 
Okay, so we're awake now, and I'm actually gonna tear down some of these here, because I think what I want to do is just, like, have some, maybe, like, stone or else those. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's just go by just a couple, and then put a couple of the wooden railings and just see how that looks. Um, because I feel like if I was to add these here, then I'd probably have to put some more stone on top, and then there's just these weird, like, gaps and bits like that. I don't really like that too much. So maybe three or four high. I would say actually three high would probably be a good height for the moment. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's just pull these back up. Eh. Because the gate here is going to be four high, so we don't really want the walls towering above that gate at all. So let's see how this looks. So obviously the first one will be here no matter what, even if we have to go into the ground a little bit. So that is the three high height. Uh, let's go ahead and just add those bits in as well and do that and that that apparently did not want to go in the right place that's completely fine because I have this get wrecked arc there we go sweet so let's just add in a couple more of these um, and I was thinking actually while we while we're kind of just building here um, of course last week there there was like arcs birthday okay on the second or whatever uh, which actually was pretty much like a week ago, which is crazy. It doesn't feel like a week ago already. But um, Ark released like a crazy countdown, and I've been like theorizing what it might actually be, and I'm kind of coming to the conclusion that I don't think it's going to be a DLC, but I think it's going to be something cool, and I think it's going to be something that we're probably going to want to cover. And if it's like a big thing, uh, we'll probably it will probably take over the channel for a couple days, so I just thought I might mention that. Um, if it is a DLC, it's going to completely take over the channel, and you probably won't see Ragnarok as often every single week for a little while while we cover that stuff. Especially the fact that I'm actually going away to Canada, and if a DLC does drop, I have to record all of the videos for leading up to when I go away, and all of the videos for when I am away, and it's going to have to be extra because it's DLC stuff. So yeah, that's, that's just going to be crazy. That actually looks really nice with the... Um, with the kind of like mossy stone sticking through. That looks really good. I like that. Um, hmm, and I can tell right now that I actually didn't build this wall. Oh, man, it's not exactly straight, but it's fine. It, it will work. It will definitely work. Let's go ahead and just do this. So I just thought I'd mention that um, if it is actually a DLC or something crazy like that, it's probably going to take over the channel. And if it is that, then I'm extremely happy because it's been so long since we got new ARC content and it will be really nice to actually have some new stuff to check out. Um, because, like, I do really enjoy all the stuff that we're doing in ARC right now. We're doing a lot of building. We're doing, like, you know, we're doing taming as well, but we're doing a hell of a lot of building in this series. And that's really, like, it's really kind of motivating me and, and everything like that. So, um, so yeah, just, like... Some extra bits, like some new creatures to tame, some new, like, things to use in the game would be amazing, so... Really excited, and, like, hopefully it is gonna be something like that, not just something tiny. Um, that would be the worst, like, bringing everybody's, like, hopes up and then it's just like, Oh, here's one, one or two new things, you know, here you go. You know, that would be kind of annoying. I don't, I don't really know. So, uh, we'll have to wait and see, but, um, I am excited. The timer runs out on Friday, don't know what day this video is coming out, um could be coming out on Tuesday, I think, possibly. But, uh, timer's running out on Friday, of course. Check out the channel around then to figure out what it is, because as soon as we figure out, I'm gonna let you guys know, of course, as always. Uh, let's go ahead and just put that up there. And, of course, now it's raining. Amazing. So, how does this look? I mean, I think it looks pretty good with the archways. I think over here is gonna be, like, the ultimate test, because it's, you know, there's more archways here, and you can actually see the sky in the background, so... Yeah, I'm gonna build up the rest of this, and then we will be back, and we'll just kind of check it out a little bit and just see if it looks good. Um, and then we're gonna add more detail to it, of course. So yeah, I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, so I was thinking of initially ending it off over here, but then I was thinking that there's a gap behind there, so we're gonna take that away, and I've, what I've done is I've actually built it right up to here. That actually looks really nice with the wall kind of crumbling, and then you've got like the fresh stuff on the inside. It looks really cool. Um, so yeah, this whole little compound looks pretty nice, but it's also very basic. So what I think I might do is add in some more fence supports. Uh, we'll do like little kind of dino pen type things. So we can actually like hit G and like change the different settings of these, which is really great. I love how versatile everything in S plus is. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. That actually would be like the perfect size for a pen. So we could probably do like little pens with maybe like a thatch roof on each of them. I think that would look pretty cool. 
So we're gonna need some more fence supports, of course, because I only had like just a few extra from when I was building this. So yeah, we're gonna have to get our, I don't know, if we're probably gonna put the, the Dodic and the Beaver in here, I'd say. Let's actually just go over and just see how many creatures we have back there. To be honest, I really wanna kill that stupid Parasur. Let's go ahead and just do that really quick. Um, hello. Uh-oh. Can you get to me? I don't think you can. Oh no! Stop! 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 Don't break. Can I shoot him through the window? Damn, I missed. Stupid Parasur. 174. Whatever. My god, why is it so dark here? Like, I feel like I should almost gamma up, but that looks way too bright. Like, this is gamma 2. This is Gamma, like, 3.5. We'll, we'll just go with this for the moment, just so we can actually see things. Let's go back over and uh, just see how many creatures we have to bring over here. I'm also going to have to, like, leave a sign, or maybe I'll actually just post to them in Discord, just saying, hey, your creatures are over here, you know, just so people understand that they're not, like, worried or anything. Um, of course, eventually we'll have some sort of, like, bridge going to over here, and then from down here... There won't be a Sarko here, like right in this location. Um, <laughs> oh god, that capital tried to get me. Did I get it? I think I did. Are you a 180? Uh, 168. Oh my god! No! How, I didn't even know he could do that. Oh no, there's a Sarko coming. Ugh. My god, everything's so dangerous here. Why is everything so dangerous? Stupid snail, it's all your fault. Can I pick you up with my beak? I don't think I could do it if he's curled up like that. Oh, I can! <gasps> Let's drop him from really high up and then his, sh his shell will crack and then we can eat him. That's what birds do, right? Let's see what happens. Oh, he's, le he's snail trailing in the air. Oh, it's disgusting. Anyway, <laughs> so, we'll come across like a bridge, we'll come down through here, and then we'll probably have like a, a clear path or something over here with like plant species X plants, and uh, we'll have like a safe zone right over to where the dino pen will be. So, there's like a lot of building work that we need to be doing. Um, let's go ahead and just kill you. So yeah, this looks pretty good up here, um, but things probably we will be able to jump over for now, so we'll probably have to like cut this off as well. Uh, I was thinking that we could do another dino pen over here at some point if like there's a lot of creatures But I don't think it's really that necessary right now because we don't really like I feel like the other dino pen will be enough room for everything um, One thing I'd really like to do is something for spinos I don't think a spino could walk through one of these though, but we'll have to wait and see uh, I could probably actually go ahead and test that and if they can then maybe what I'll do is I'll build another dino pen at some other point for large creatures But we could probably test that with our spino here in a second uh, let's go ahead and just grab something. So I'll grab my my Capro. Hello, weird Crayola Capro. And actually, that's probably what we're gonna be calling it. I saw that in the suggestions. We'll probably call it. Uh, we'll probably call the Capro Crayola. I think it's a pretty cool name because it's like very very colorful. Uh, let's see. Let's just drop you down here. Uh, we probably got the Dodic, we got the Beaver, uh, we'll eventually have to get an Anki over here, but we don't have one currently. Um, what else? We have to get all of, like, everybody's Baryonyxes, everybody's, like, what are they called, the Capros, uh, I don't know whether or not we're keeping this here, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm like, yeah, there's, like, a bunch of frogs, like, we'll probably leave Dimorphs over here. Like, a bunch of frogs and just everything over here, so it's just crazy, this place is just filled up with everything. Let's go ahead and just grab the Spino, just see if we can walk it through. Hopefully you're not too fat. Let's see. Walk our way around here. So yeah, you see, like, most of the runes here are, like, kind of crooked and everything. It's, like, it's going to be very difficult to, like, restore the runes of the Ragnarok uh, Swamp Castle. But we're going to try. We're definitely going to try. Like, why is it so dark there? I don't enjoy this. <laughs> like, even when I gamma up, it, like, creates this weird... Like, look at the wall right there. Do you guys see all those dots, or is that just on my screen? It seems to be on my recording software as well, so I'm not sure what that is. Really, really odd. Uh, 
Yeah, this little dino pen is like perfectly safe though. That's that's just amazing. I'm liking it. Let's go ahead and just kill you. And let's turn around, see if we can walk through here. Can we? No, we cannot. I had a feeling that we couldn't. I had a feeling. Uh, does one of them, like, is one of these things, like, slightly bigger, maybe? Or, I'll just test it on a few of them here, just to be sure. Because sometimes, yeah, no. I legit can't get through there. Although, technically, I should be able to, because, as you can see, like, I, I technically could fit through there, but I just can't. So, yeah, that can't really be, the like, a dino pen area. Now I seem to be stuck. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> Whew. Um, so yeah, maybe up here we could create like some sort of like ramp or something. That could be a thing. I don't know. Like there's a couple different ideas I could work with. I mean, like realistically, I could just still put them in here, but it might just look a little bit messy. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out at some stage. Let us go ahead and drag over a bunch of creatures and I will get to work on some other stuff and then we'll be back. There's a frog and he's almost dead now. Now I've actually got to kill him because I've attacked him. And I've attacked other stuff, apparently, too. <laughs> this literally makes no sense. Like, this is me gamma down. This is me gamma up. Like, why is it like this? It looks like there was, like, an oil spill. <laughs> Shrek will be furious. What happened? Like, what even is this? It's so confusing. What is with those dots? Don't even know. Hopefully that actually trans out, translates out to the video, because otherwise the dots are just going to... It's gonna make it feel like I'm just, I'm going insane. Probably a little bit of both. Anyway, so what are we doing? This is the little dino pen area. What I wanna do actually is instead of, I was gonna put like um, stone walls down like this, but I think what we might do is just full on just use railing. So let's start up this end where it's actually bright. Uh, so let's go ahead and just down just a few railings here. We'll do like maybe three high, for like the little pens. That's good, and then maybe we can put like a fence post, or uh, not a fence post, uh, what are they called? A uh, pillar at the end here. Um, let's go ahead and do that. And what we can do is we can also hide the fence uh, support thingies. Actually, if I go ahead and just do this, I can hide all of them. So every single one is actually hidden now. Uh, let me try and get the hitbox of one of those now. This is the difficult part, is locating them after. There we go. Uh, show all connected, cool. Uh, so I'll keep that up for now. Uh, do I want it like hidden or visible? Hmm. You know what? We'll leave it. <sighs> I don't know what I want now, actually, whether I want it hidden or visible. Maybe I'm also now thinking that maybe this bottom layer here should be like uh, a stone railing. Oh, God, I've got to clean up all of this now. I've got to like pull everything back up. It's great. Uh, let's just go ahead and just fix this really quick. Okay, let's see. We'll just see what it looks like really quickly before we make like a proper commitment of uh, changing a lot of stuff. Yeah, I think the stone railing looks a lot better as the base. Uh, can I just go ahead and do that? That works out? That's like the same height? I think it is. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead. We gotta do that before we do the other one. And bam. Sweet. So let's start off with the stone then. And then we're gonna go from that to like wood. And I think that's gonna look pretty good as like these little pens. I'm really, I'm getting so frustrated by these weird light glitches. Like, how is that still a thing? <laughs> this swamp area is being in Ragnarok since the start. I mean, maybe it's, maybe this is intentional, but I really doubt it because like, look, that just doesn't make any sense. I don't even understand. Uh, so let's go ahead and just, um, you know what? This last bit should probably just not even have like a little pen. Because it's, it's going to be too tight on the last one here. Because it would be going from here to like the wall. So it's that's kind of dumb. Uh, so let's see. Let's get the rest of these up. Like that. We could probably actually put some pillars in between as well. Um, like so. Huh. Do I have stuff on me to craft pillars? Because I actually don't have any. Pillar. Small wooden pillar. Let's craft, if we can, I'll craft 10. Uh, yeah, I obviously have the stuff. It's probably on my RG. 
Uh, we're definitely not in range of the base. Although, you know, actually, it's probably on the beaver now because we have all the dinos over here. So that's probably what it was. Oh, wow. Okay. There's a snake attacking. Okay. At least he's not actually doing any damage or anything. That's great. Let's get him down. Yeah. This is looking good. Besides, like, the unholy darkness that is this area right here. It's kind of getting a little bit brighter now. I think with the time of day, it just changes a little bit. So, yeah, that's going to look pretty good. Like that. I actually crafted, like, the perfect amount. <laughs> I was gonna go for 12. Glad I didn't. Look at this. Amazing. So we can chuck like just a bunch of dinos in there. So let's say uh, we're gonna put like um, the beaver and the dodic over here. Maybe put them into like the same pen down the end. We might actually do that ramp idea that I had for over there just to bring the spino down here. Uh, let's wait for the dodic to get a little bit closer before we turn in the corner. Come on, buddy. You're okay. There you go. Sweet. So yeah, just like right here is perfect for them. They don't actually have to fully sit into the pen, but just as they have like a little area to kind of be located in, I think that's just good enough. Um, and then I can kind of like take some of my creatures. So I have my frog. I have another frog in here. Uh, you are mine as well. Just bring you guys over here. So maybe I can take like this next pen and I can put my Sarko, or not my Sarko, my uh, my other guy, my Capro, and I can put my frogs in here, my Baryonyx. Uh, if only I had like a whip. That way they'd be able to come in even further. I'll leave them like that for now. I definitely won't be able to jump onto them because they, they definitely don't have the weight to support me. Oh, you do though. Wow, I was surprised by that. <laughs> Alright, we actually got to name you as well. I gotta look up Crayola. How do you spell Crayola? I assume it's spelled this way. Crayola. Crayola. Yeah, I was right. I'm not sure I understand. Yeah, Siri. <laughs> I tried to like click away. All right, yeah, that does look right. Oh my god, that snake looked like it jumped over the wall. <laughs> All right, so that is correct. I had a feeling. I just want to be sure though, just in case. I always doubt myself. All right, let's see. Let's chuck uh, Barely Onyx over here. Right into the pen as well. Sweet. All right, well then we can probably just chuck everybody else's stuff into other pens. I assume, yeah, Super Fred, that's Flingers. We'll chuck that over to this next pen here. Uh, and then I think he has a frog as well. Um, I assume, yeah, there you are. That's his frog, I can't, yeah, he can't. Uh, be ridden? Can I ride this one? Nope. Way too heavy. It's right on you. Oh my god, cheese, did you pump speed on this thing? This thing's a freaking speed machine. Speed demon. Alright, uh, so one of you is cheese's baby poop, I assume that's you. And let's bring Flinger's one over into his little pen. Now, everything should be safe in here, but just in case, what I can do is I can leave something here on neutral, something that could kill things. Um, and then I assume this this guy here is probably just going to go down to, like, the end or something. I, might, I thought it was, like, way too heavy there for a sec. Let's just, like, chuck you here. That works. Uh, Mind Melt hasn't actually tamed anything because he's been away this whole, this whole time that we've been at the swamp, so... Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I don't know if I want to put pens on the other side because I feel like that would be kind of a waste of time. Uh, but what we might do is the ramp idea that I had. So we'll probably go ahead and build that right here, I'd say. So let's just let's just see how wide we want this thing. Like, let's, Yeah, we're just going to come up here. It makes a lot more sense. Uh, let me see. That one. That one. That almost perfectly works out. Yeah, actually, that's perfect. Yeah, we'll do the ramp right here. So we'll have to have like a little bit of a platform here or else another ramp on this side. And then a ramp going directly down there. Um, with some railings on the side. So I gotta go ahead and get those. You know what? We probably have the stuff actually to, to craft that right here. If the dodic is here, um, then we probably have that ramp. Uh, so we're gonna need three for the side and then probably, so 15 maybe? Can we craft that? We craft a full 15? No, I had enough for one. What do I not have? <laughs> I had enough for one. Did I type in 15? I could have sworn I just typed in 15. Let's see. Uh, type in 14 and then ramp. 
Uh, where's the stone wrap? Stone wrap. What do we not have? The dodic's probably empty. Yeah, no stone. Cool. Okay, I'm just I'm going to go ahead and just go back to the base because we probably have all of that inside of a chest there. And uh, I'll get this all sorted and then we'll be back. Okay, so... Can I... Alright, we might actually have to be up there. <laughs> it's like so messed up. Alright. Hello. We also brought the spino over because we're going to need it. And then, can I... Is that right? Okay, cool. That is right. Like so. Go ahead and just turn you into stairs. Kind of like, you know, you go up to go down. It's, it's a little bit odd looking, but I think it's going to be okay. Let's go ahead and do those. Yeah, I had a feeling I might need extras down the bottom there. So 15 would have been right, but I went ahead and just got some extra just in case. And they are all stairs. Sweet. Okay, so I want to go with some wooden railings like this. And then probably on the last one, I'd say, we'll turn that into like a stone. I think. Let's see. Oh, there's no... Oh, damn. Can we get another ramp down there? Let's see. I think it worked. I think it's underneath the map. Yeah, it did. Sweet. Okay. Uh, that works perfectly. And then I also grabbed some standing torches. Here we go. Let's uh, see. Let's go from the side first. So we're going to go from the center one. Put that right there. And then we'll probably just change your settings so you're just always on. So there we go. And then... Get that one into there as well. And then always on. Cool. Alrighty, so hopefully that's going to fix some of the lighting glitches, but I want to add some more over here. Um, we'll just put them down like this for now. I don't know if that's going to fix it at all. I can't even see here. Is that in the center? Yeah, perfect. And you are too. So let's go ahead and just craft up one of those um, light setting guns. Which one is it? There it is. Sweet. And I just got to copy the settings from over here and I can just paste it onto all those other torches. But I think I still need to like light the torches afterwards. There we go. And finally, there we go. Sweet. I think that's all good. The first one, I don't think I did that one correctly. There we go. Sweet. Yeah, not the worst, not the worst. Um, probably get a couple more torches over here. Maybe like one right here in the center. It's attacking. I don't even know. Uh, one right here as well. Gotta copy the settings from over here once more, because it doesn't save once you put the once you put the weapon away. Did is that? What am I doing? Like what? Can I copy from this one, please? All right, there we go. Uh, I had it saved for a second, and then I cleared by accident. Let's see. There we go. What's attacking? Is the spino off? Like fighting? There it is. My God, that's difficult. Alright, yeah, something's fighting. Let's go see. Spino, are you getting eaten or something? Like, what, what's happening? Okay, so yeah, it's up there. It's a snake, apparently. It's two snakes. It's three snakes. There's so many snakes. It's great. I love lots of snakes. Uh, I had to kill the snail. I'm so sorry. I'm just so, so sorry. Had to happen. Is that all good? I think that's good. So what we'll probably end up doing is uh, we'll have a plant species um, X seed in here, or X plant, I guess. Uh, we'll have that in here somewhere, just so we can kind of like protect the area. 
but I've got to go ahead and get like fertilizer and all that good stuff. So that means heading all the way back to probably the farm. I'd say that's the best spot for a fertilizer. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave my Spino in here now because it's like perfect. It's a nice little area for him. You can like sit right here maybe. Cool. And we'll put you, we'll put everything onto passive, but we'll put you onto neutral. Uh, so then neutral. Sweet. That's uh, Jace is like stuck inside of a hole. Cool. So yeah, I think that's this little project done. Uh, we'll probably add some more stuff to it, as I said, of course. Um, yeah, and I kind of feel like maybe some more pillars back over there could probably benefit as well. But um, yeah, I could probably go ahead and just do that between episodes, and we'll probably do something with the other side at some other point, I'd say. Because I kind of feel like we're, we're going to have like a decent amount of dinos over here, especially larger creatures like the Spinos. So we're going to need space for all these creatures to be stored, and uh, this one here doesn't really have a huge amount of space if you look at the size of my spino and, and think of like four spinos possibly even eight spinos in here at some stage so that could be really really crazy but uh yeah i'm, I'm just happy that we're kind of like developing up the area a little bit i want to do some more stuff over here of course kind of make the area a little bit safer add some more little charts around the place just to keep the place just completely clear of like capros and sarcos and anything that can kind of stun you pretty much and snakes too i guess so pretty much anything in the swamp but that is all for another day. If you guys have enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can of course subscribe. And we'll be seeing you in the next one.